It's the final week. Week 18. Last week of the normal season. And so many divisions are still coming down to the wire. I think only two or three teams were eliminated last week. The Raiders. Bengals. And I believe Bears. Oh, and Vikings. And I don't know if the Broncos were as well. I don't know if they can still make it. But last week, I did pretty well. I uh, went 12-4 and four with predictions. I got the Chiefs one wrong, Cardinals one wrong, Saints one wrong, and Packers one wrong. I am salty that the Steelers beat us, quite frankly. I thought we had at least a, s a sliver of a chance, but but no. Everyone else in our division won. Cardinals won, the Rams won, the Niners won. And we lost because we couldn't stop Najee Harris from running the ball all over us. It's frustrating, quite frankly. But the Ravens locked up the number one seed. They take their division. They get the first round by in the playoffs. After curb stomping the Dolphins. And we move on to week 18 with a couple, a few teams actually with their seeds locked in. The Ravens at 1, the Chiefs at 3, and the Browns at 5. The Niners also at number 1. Lions can get the number 2 seed, but I don't think they're too bothered if they do. Rams are either 6th or 7th, and as I said, Lions are either 2nd or 3rd. There's quite a few teams that, that are locked in, but both South divisions are still up for grabs. The final playoff spots for both conferences are still being heavily fought over, and we're going to find out this week who's going to the playoffs. I'm not going to do this based on the time that they play because it's just too complicated. I'll just go down like this. So, Jets, Patriots. I think Patriots want to lose this, honestly, because they want their quarterback in the draft. Because they need a quarterback badly. They might need a quarterback most out of any team here. So I think the Patriots will not actually be trying that hard. Um, I think the Jets have at least a solid defense. Their offense is, eh, it's okay. I think they just need a quarterback really as well. But they've got Aaron Rodgers. So their, their, their solution is injured. That's basically the problem. Either way, I think the Jets team is just better than the Patriots. I think they'll get their revenge. And they'll split the series with the Patriots. I think the Jets are going to get the win in New England. Next game, ooh, this one's a doozy. For the AFC East and the number two seed, I think the loser gets the number six seed. The, oh, not necessarily because the Bills can be eliminated altogether, but the Bills at the Dolphins. And the Bills, um, they're kind of like the reverse Lions at this point. Because Lions, they all win games, but each win would gradually be worse and less convincing than the last. Then they'll lose, then they'll spike back up to being good, being really good. The Bills, they'll win a game, and then they'll be rubbish for the next few, and then they'll start building up to that peak win, and then they'll just drop back down. And they have been struggling, quite frankly. They barely beat the Patriots, they barely beat the Chargers a couple of weeks ago. And this is going to be a tough game because it's in Miami. Yes, Dolphins got curb stomped by the Ravens, but they've got a lot of injuries. Two or through a couple bad interceptions, but the Ravens' defense is just that good. Their offense is even better. So it's no real surprise there. Uh, I'm going to pick the Dolphins to win. I had my faith in them against the Cowboys. I don't know if that faith is going to completely see them through to winning their division. But I said earlier, I think they will win the division. And I still believe that. I still think that the Dolphins are going to win the division. I think it'll be close, but Miami will pull through. 
The next game, Steelers Ravens. Steelers have been playing pretty good the past couple of weeks. Their run game's been solid. Mason Rudolph has been doing well, for God knows why. Um, the Steelers get their winning record, and they're fighting for a playoff spot right now, and it's heavily contested. It's with the Bills, it's with the Colts, it's with the Texans, even with the Jags. Maybe the Broncos, I don't know if they're eliminated or not, but Steelers, are, they need to be competitive. You know, the Ravens, they've wrapped up the number one seed. They've got nothing to play for. They're going to be resting their players, making sure that they don't get injured. And while I don't think Baltimore would be particularly happy about being swept by the Steelers, I think they'd be more concerned if they ended up having some form of major injury going into into the playoffs, whether it's Lamar Jackson, Zay Flowers, Richard Bateman. I don't think that I think that'll be worse for them. So I'm picking the Steelers. I think the Ravens will just be resting their players, and Steelers should get the victory. Next game, Browns, Bengals. The Bengals haven't won a single division matchup, and that's a problem. The Browns have been looking good. They've got the number five seed wrapped up. There's nothing really to play for there, but their defense is just that good. I think... Honestly, I'm actually going to give it to Cleveland. I think the Browns will win just out of spite for Cincinnati. I think that's what it'll ultimately come down to. I don't think they'll be playing any of their major players like Joe Flacco. Maybe not. Maybe you're not mine with Garrett, uh, Elijah Moore, Amari Cooper, Njoku, those kinds of players. But I think that they'll still just do enough just to barely beat the Bengals just out of spite. The next game is Texans Colts. This, I believe, is a prime time game. I think this is Saturday night, and Steelers Ravens is a Saturday game. This could determine this game. Pretty much single handedly determines who goes into the playoffs. Whether it's Texans Colts Steelers Bills, because the outcome of those games, like Bills Steelers, even Jags and Titans to an extent. The Steelers, Bills, and Jags, they can all they all have a chance to be eliminated from the playoffs. Texans or Colts can win the division. And I what I it's only one of them can go through. And I think it'll be Houston. I think CJ Stroud is gonna prove himself. In this one final matchup against the Colts, who are just barely going to miss out on the playoffs. But even if the Texans get eliminated, even when the, if the Colts get eliminated, no matter who gets eliminated, I think they can be proud of the season they've had. Massive upgrades from last season. Colts um, can get, they'll get Anthony Richardson back next season. Their run game is really good. So they're going to have a great next season. The Texans, they're going to get Tank Dell back. Their offense is going to be better. I think the draft is also going to help them as well, both these teams. So the Jags better watch out because these are two scary teams on the rise. And they may even lose their division this, this season. But speaking of Jags-Titans, this matchup, I'm going with the Jags. I do think that the Jags will win the division, but it will be close. I'm not entirely convinced by the Jags at the moment. They've been their defense played really well against Carolina last week, but then against Carolina. Um I think that at the moment the defense is the only part of them that's really pushing through. Their offense is slacking a little bit, whether it's turnovers or whether it's just lack of points. Trevor Lawrence, I think, didn't play. Last week, I don't know if he's playing this week, but either way, this is a huge matchup for the Jags, and they're against their weakest divisional rifle at the moment, and I think they'll be able to pull through, get the win, clinch a division. Clinch a division. Yeah, that, is that what I said? Clinch a division. Anyway, Chiefs Chargers. The Chiefs are the guaranteed number three seed. They can't go lower, 
They can't go higher, and they've won the division. And they're away at SoFi Stadium. And I think this one's going to go to the Chargers, which will mean for the first time in God knows how long, the Chiefs will have lost to every single divisional rival in a season. And the Chiefs will end 10-7. and 7. I think the Chargers will manage to pull it, pull it off. They put up a little bit of a fight against Denver last week, but Denver wasn't doing so great themselves anyway. But I am going to give it to the Chargers, but barely. I don't think the Chargers, even when completely healthy, would do that well against... Well, I mean, when com- when completely healthy, I guess they probably would put up a, a pretty good fight against the Chiefs' backup. But I guess that would come down to the coaching. And to wrap up the AFC, Broncos Raiders. Um, Broncos I think are uh, still benching Russell Wilson, starting Jared Stidham. And the Raiders, I mean, they lost the Colts, but barely. They lost by like what three points. Their defense is good, and they have a lot of talent on that team. I think if this draft goes well for them, which it probably won't, the Raiders haven't been known for their good draft picks exactly. I think if the draft does go well for them, they'll be a very scary team next season. They're one to watch, along with a couple other teams. And I think they'll be able to get the win. I think their defense will pull through here. I think Max Crosby is going to have a field day. And I think at home in Las Vegas, the Raiders will win. Moving on to the NFC, for some reason, Bucks panthers is at the top. But I guess we'll talk about them. Uh, the Bucks. What on earth happened against the Saints? I didn't watch like almost any of that game, so I don't know if the reason the Saints won was because the Saints played well or the Bucks played bad. But they they were playing with the division on the line and they couldn't pull off the win. Although this is against a team that is they're going against a team that is significantly worse than New Orleans. You can tell by the record. I don't know I don't know how the Saints are eight and eight. That doesn't make sense to me. It feels like the Bucks should be like what ten and six or something. The Saints should be like six and ten actually. They should have the reverse record of the Tampa Bay. Doesn't make sense, but here we are. Either way, I think Bucks will win. I'm not too worried about them to be honest. I don't think they'll lose to Carolina, and if the Panthers do win, it will be just like the Browns, and they'll be out of spite. <laughs> and then if the Bucks do lose. Then the winner of the division comes down to either Falcons or Saints. It comes down to that matchup. But I'll get to them later. This next game is Cowboys Commanders. It's the last week. I might as well go for some, for something um, mostly unrealistic. I'm going Washington. Dallas is playing away, and they've not done that well when playing away this season. They would play way better at home. It's a big game, and Dak Prescott doesn't do particularly well in big games. We we saw what happened last week. They beat the Lions, sure, but they should have lost that. They really should have. Because it just wasn't convincing. And I, I think at this time of the season, it's that's this is when most of the unexpected stuff happens. So I am going to go with with Washington to beat Dallas. I think it's quite funny. And speaking of funny, Eagles, Giants. I've got the Giants winning. This is... This is just funny. But the thing is, is that with both of these picks, Commanders and Giants, I don't think it's too much of a stretch. The Eagles have been looking rough recently, even taking a loss to the Cardinals when they had such a big lead on them. They can't be letting that happen. It was in Philadelphia as well. And I can only imagine the pain that Dallas fans are putting them through whether Dallas win or lose. So I think the Giants will end up getting their final win of the season. It's unfortunate for the Giants because they did so well last season and now it's just all gone downhill. But they'll get the last laugh when they... They keep Philadelphia from winning the division. But then again, is it much better for them because Dallas then wins it? (laughs) Moving on is Vikings-Lions. The Lions, I... 
This is a tough one because I would say the Lions, if I knew if they would be like playing most of their starters, because I don't know if they're trying to get that number two seed, because they can get it if the Cowboys and Eagles lose. Because you can see here, if, say, Cowboys win and Lions win, doesn't matter, Cowboys are number two seed, since well, Cowboys won. If just the Eagles win, Eagles go number two. If both of them win, obviously Cowboys stay above. But if they both lose, then Lions and Lions win. The Lions go above by better record. They might be playing for that number two seed. And I think they'll get it. I think the Lions will beat the Vikings. Because right now, the Vikings are looking not good. Because I, I picked them last week to beat the Packers. Which was actually like a couple nights ago that they played. But their defense just wasn't doing anything. Their offense was doing even less. And they got wrecked. Big time. And when playing in Detroit, I think the Lions will be able to please their fans one last time before the playoffs begin. I think the Lions are going to win. I say one more time in Detroit, but they're playing a home game next. Anyways... Bears, Packers. As a Seahawks fan, this feels all too familiar. I wonder when the last time was that an NFC North matchup happened between an animal-based team against the Packers in Lambeau Field who need to beat the Packers and then the Seahawks to win in order for the Seahawks to make the playoffs. Hmm... Oh wait, that was last year, except this wasn't the Bears and it was the Lions. And it was to knock the Packers out. and the, An already eliminated team, by the way. So, we need the Bears. I want the Bears to win. But the re only reason Bears would win would be out of spite. But, given the Bears-Packers rivalry, there would be a lot of spite. However, the Packers have been... Despite how good the Bears have been playing recently, the Packers have been playing pretty decent recently as well. Their offense has been putting up a lot of numbers. I think it's. I think the last time they scored less than twenty was week eleven. Because since then they've been putting numbers in the twenties and even in the low thirties, low to mid thirties. Both of their last games they scored thirty three points. That's pretty good. And in Lambeau Field, a team that owns the Bears at the moment. I wouldn't push it past them to win again and get themselves in the playoffs. I think this time the Packers will make it. But I'm really hoping the Bears win. <laughs> Come on, Chicago. You got this. The next game, Falcons Saints. At this point, I think both teams would be eliminated if the Bucks won. I don't think either of them can really do anything unless maybe Bears and... Cardinals win, then the Saints go through. But it looks like are the Falcons eliminated? It looks like the Falcons are eliminated. Um So this is just playing for the Saints um getting out of the playoffs, being eliminated. But I think the Falcons would do it. I think if the Bucks, because if the Panthers win, the winner of this game gets a division. And if that happens, I think the Falcons will somehow manage to do it. At this point, I can't see the Saints winning the division. I see the Falcons winning it more than more than the Saints do, but I think the Bucks will still win it. I I can't be sure because it's Atlanta. One week they're wrecking the Colts, who are actually a good team. The next, they're getting wrecked by the Bears, who started 0-4. The Falcons are a, they're a mixed bag, and they have a lot of talent. They, they're like the Raiders. They just need a quarterback. They just need that one missing piece, and they are set. I think Raiders and Falcons are going to be pretty good teams next year. But that also depends on Arthur Smith. <laughs> But I think they'll get one last win before the season ends. I think Falcons will win it. Seahawks, Cardinals. Seahawks lost to the Steelers and we could not defend the run. You know, the Cardinals 
And their running back, James Conner, beat the Eagles in Philadelphia. So their run game was good. Our run defense was not. And this might be the last time I get to do this. I get to pick us this season. So I am going to do it. I am going to pick the Seahawks for, I think, the fourth time this whole season. I think I picked us against the Rams in the first week. I picked us against the Panthers and against the Cardinals before. I think we'll sweep the Cardinals this season. And I'm... We pl- I think we play better away. I'm going to pick us. I wouldn't normally do this, but it might be my last chance to do it this season. And if we make it to the playoffs, I'm picking us every single week. I've got to have that support. Go Hawks. I'm going with Seahawks. And finally, Rams 49ers. The Rams... If they lose, they go down to number 7 if the Packers win. And if the Lions win, then it's still a a, um, Stafford versus Lions matchup. But if Rams and Vikings win, then it's it's still Lions-Rams. But I think Rams aren't too concerned about that. I think that the Rams... Because the Niners already have the number 1 seed. They're going to be resting their players, quite obviously. But the Rams, I think they want to keep that number six seed. I don't know why they would rather face Dallas or Philadelphia than Detroit. I mean, maybe Philadelphia. I think they'll beat the Eagles. I don't know if they'll beat the Cowboys in Dallas. But it's a big game. They might. Dallas is normally a one-and-done team. The Rams are going to be facing... They're going to be fighting, sorry, for that number six seed. Going up against the backup for the Niners... I think they'll be able to pull through. I wouldn't be too surprised the Niners win, but I don't think they're too concerned about this this matchup at all. This is just another another week they've got to wait for the the divisional round. But I am going to pick the Rams to win. And that is going to be the end of week 18 and my regular season predictions. I hope you all enjoyed. Let me know your predictions in the comments below. Go Hawks. And I'll be back when the playoffs return. Although the videos will be much shorter. But when the playoffs start, I will be back. Until next time, goodbye and have a nice day.